blocking the possibility, giving people the confidence to purchase a home, and knowing that they can have financial affluence and a piece of the American dream. Welcome. My name is Brandy Price, and I'm a real estate attorney and founder of Home Free Online Incorporated. Home Free is a home buying learning platform that gives users information pertaining to every aspect of the home buying process. Users are provided with a personalized report based on their classification as either a first time home buyer, an intermediate home buyer, or an experienced home buyer. The self paced course gives them proficiency in the home buying process. Access to our network of real estate professionals, as well as opportunity to obtain a certification in home buying readiness. We released the first phase of our, our platform a few weeks ago, and we received astounding feedback about our user experience and our free content. And yes, I said free content. Our content is forever free for our users. We will monetize by selling advertisers access to our growing user base. With the funds won today, we will use them to fund a large marketing campaign that will assist in growing that user base, as well as funding phase two and phase three of our platform. So, what are you waiting for? For me to sing again? <laughs> Let's go. I've got the key. I won't sing, um, <laughs> but but a good catchy opening to your your pitch definitely Thank caught um, people's attention with your beautiful voice. Thank you. Um, a couple of things you mentioned phase two and phase three, so I'd love to hear what they are. Yeah, absolutely. And then, um, well, I'll stop there first. Go ahead. Okay, uh, phase two actually consists. Well, let me actually tell you what phase one is. So phase one is for the most part our we have a landing page and we capture those emails um, and then we present them with the webinar and we've created that webinar and we are now live. Um, phase two is incorporating our classification system. So, as I said, classifying you as um, first time home buyer, intermediate, and experienced. Phase three is our full blown curriculum. So, that's everything, um, or being, uh, being able to accommodate all those different classifications um, fully with a full blown curriculum that's personalized to each one of those um, classifications. How much money do you plan on allocating towards marketing because you're going to have to reach a lot of users to attract advertisers? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. So we've actually been in contact with um, some, some marketing, um, I guess you could say, consultants um, that are, have kind of uh, helped us set our budget. So we have a budget of uh, 1050 set per month. It'd be 12000 actually 1260 or 126, excuse me, sorry, um, over the course of a year that will be consist of email marketing, um, on social media, et cetera, and everything that pretty much goes into reaching out to, the, to our users. Brandy, what does it cost a participant to do this versus them using a real estate broker or somebody to get the same information? Okay, and you mean what is the difference between using yes. a realtor? Okay. Mm -hmm. Luckily for us, a lot of people love to find the information they need online. They go online before they go anywhere else. So a lot of times, the first place they look before they even realize what their first step is, is they Google search something. Um, we want to be a part of that Google search. We want to pop up in that Google search and be the first people that they access. And in essence, it is really already with the trend of how people already find information. Does it cost them anything to, to be in the program or get the information? Okay, nope. so the advertisers are really your revenue source. What are you projecting the first year of operating doing it this way? So our, our revenue source is solely contingent on our users. So are you, having a large user base um, means, of course, bringing in advertisers. We have anticipated that at least 1,000 users, we can actually start bringing in income um, by having at least 20 advertisers. And we want to do something that's actually very similar to one of our competitors, where they do a premier agent uh, package, where they uh, either do a pay-per-click or even a monthly subscription um, that people pay, and then it, for display ads, et cetera, et cetera, um, for purposes of, of marketing their brand. Um, and so that will start bringing us in um, funds, uh, but we think that we actually can get that, uh, that 1,000 uh, for very low cost. We have a, a community right now of about 100 people, and we think we can expand that community, actually just through email marketing, just through kind of boots to the ground, getting it done, uh, without even spending that 1050 budget. Thank you. Have you 
uh, who are your target advertisers? What categories do you anticipate getting advertising revenue from? Yeah, absolutely. So social media is big, 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 big. And we don't want to neglect that. We Our target market is millennials, and that's where they're, they're at. So we want to make sure that we're um, placing our ads within social media. And that is the reason why we're actually um, in uh, connection with that uh, marketing consultant, so that we can actually learn kind of the ropes there and what that looks like. Who, who do you... Wh- Sorry, what do you think it's real estate agents who are going to pay you for marketing or oh, absolutely. who do you think is going to advertise on your yeah, site? Yeah. So real estate agents, financial planners, lenders, anybody who wants to sit in front of a home buyer for the course of three months to a year. And, and have you tested with those markets what the sort of user volume needs to be for this to be an attractive way for them to advertise? Absolutely. So which is the reason why we anticipate the number 1,000, that we know that, uh, like I said, based on actually looking at some of our competitors, that they initiated a um, six-month kind of marketing campaign, and through that marketing campaign, they got 10,000 users, and through that 10,000 users, they were able to actually even make a profit. I perceive that there are a number of sort of education-oriented sites out there related to real estate. How are you going to differentiate from those? Why would why would somebody prefer HomeKey versus one of the others? Yeah, absolutely. So in doing our research um, in, with some of the people who are out here, uh, one, our content is free. A lot of those platforms charge for their content. Um, and a lot of times they're HUD approved and all that great stuff. And that's something that we definitely anticipate being at some point. But they're they're charging for something that's free to get usually. Um, so we want to make sure that we kind of go in line with how they're already receiving home buying information. Um, also too, we're engaging with our users in the same way that they're used to engaging. So short form video, um, podcast, memes, gifts, the same way that you're used to taking in information right now um, online. I would just give a little bit of feedback and yeah. say, um, you may want to think about millennials as your target as their home buying and purchasing power has been delayed because of the recession and such. So yeah. you may end up having a very long trail um, for them to buy their first house. And, and that's a wonderful point. I kind of want to kind of say something about that. Kind of our why behind doing this is the 2008 recession. Um, and that's because a lot of people got into those bonds because they didn't have the information. They didn't know what to ask their lender. They didn't know what to have, have a conversation with when it came to their realtor. Um, and so they ended up in situations um, that were unfortunate. We want to remedy that. We have an economical benefit, a large one. And we want to make sure that we, you know, we're there when, they, when our home buyers need us. Thank y'all.